Hello everyone! This video is going to be about multi-object handling, grouping and parenting. For my next project, I need a pose dummy because there will be multiple characters in it with very dynamic movement. If you use a posable dummy, it's much easier to nail the detailed characters later on. If I make a dummy with body parts that have the right ratio, Posing it just by grabbing the parts could be pretty hard as the transforms of some body parts are linked together in a specific hierarchy. If I want to raise the dummy's hand for example, I'd have to grab everything that follows the arm. Fortunately, we have parenting and grouping. So if I have all the body parts, I can parent from the palm upwards so the palm to the lower arm, lower arm to the upper arm, and the upper arm to the body. This way I can already move the whole arm together if I grab the top in the hierarchy, uh, the upper arm. If I move the palm somewhere else, it will still move relative to the arm after. However, if I go on to rotate the lower arm, I can see it's not moving the way I want it. And that's because it's rotating along its origin, which is in the middle of the object currently. And we can easily solve that by going into C mode, select moving the origin only, and if you want to move it locally, you can just slide it up the arm to where it bends. After doing this for every part of the body, I can pose it super simply. With the new quick copy, I can just grab the top object in the hierarchy and put down a couple more of the whole body. The quick copy actually works with rotation as well, which is super fun and easy. In the scene mode, I can select multiple objects by pulling down the secondary trigger and selecting the object. Copying will respect the selection, so it's very easy to create copies of a bunch of objects. Grouping is to save your selection, so you wouldn't have to repeat the first step. So that's it for today's video, just a quick highlight of these features, and see you guys in the next one!